What's up, everyone? I am Wink. And I am Kills. Could Prey be the beginning and the end for the Predator franchise? The tagline on it is, Prey could end the series on a high note, but its success could hurt the franchise over time. Interesting point of view brought to us by Drew T. Hinnon. And he starts out, Prey has been an undeniable smash hit on streaming for Hulu. Dan Trachtenberg's prequel has reinvigorated the Predator franchise by going back to basics and staying out of theaters. According to Hulu, Prey is its biggest premiere ever. Will the success of Prey result in inferior sequels that wind up hurting the franchise? I already am going to take a position on this, Skills. I am the type of horror fan where give me the content I don't care how bad it gets it doesn't make mm -hmm. me dislike the old ones anymore it just is another shot at possibly creating something in that universe that I will love there's only so much time in the world dude give me 50 predator movies seriously mm -hmm. I don't care if one good one comes out of that then whatever dude I just don't care that's that's my feeling my feelings are very similar to yours I think the bigger picture is there will be people that say go out on a high note don't just keep making more predators just because that one was a hit and it made money the way i look at it is i absolutely loved prey and i'm pretty sure it's my second favorite in the Predator franchise. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I saw a lot of room for improvement. Yeah. I saw a really good film that could be built upon. We enjoy being in this world. I like going to the Predator world. So like Wink said, I'm kind of in the camp of make 10 of them. And even if one or two of them are gems, then I got two Predator movies that I can watch that I love now, so. Yeah, and to be fair, not all of them are going to. I mean, the more you make, the more likely like they start having problems, but like, it depends on a lot of things, though, because we got to keep this in mind. I've seen all of the uh, major Star Wars films, and I will see, like, some of them were reviewed better than others, but I enjoyed all of them. I thought they were all, like, well-done films. You can keep making Star Wars films and make them good enough to where it's very uncommon that you'll see, like, the new Star Wars series or the new Star Wars film, and it has, like, 10%. Yeah. Because they put the effort into it. Yeah, they put enough resources in. Yeah, I don't know if that'll happen with Predator, but I just love Predator so much that I'm down for making as many as you want. I actually, I think my least favorite Predator film was the last one they made before Prey. Yeah, but. and I didn't see that one. The one thing I will say is I could tell that this Prey was kind of lacking in budget. So mm -hmm. I believe that we will find out because likely we'll get at least one more. And yeah. I bet they'll pump a little bit more cash into it. They need to somehow balance that going back to basics, but spend some more money on it. Get the details better. You bring up a great point. I don't think the question is, should they or will they? I think absolutely. Hulu is a business and I think there's no doubt there will be at least one more Predator film produced by them, right? Yeah. I think we can agree on that. Of course. What they set up with Prey, they could continue that. She would be a, a hero now. And there's a chance that another predator would come down to try to defeat her, or if there's somebody under her wing that she's been training. Um, but here's the way I look at it. I would love to see Predator fighting Nazis. I would love to see Predator, you know, in the Egyptian times. I would love to see Predator fighting a T-Rex. And so the idea is we have a whole rich history of things that we've already made movies about and there's stories about World War too. We could have Predator in that. I mean, there's so many cool ideas that we could do because it's such a, a cool, basic, fun concept that you could kind of put Predator in any time period in history. And it, if it's done well, it would be fun to watch. Dude, how about this? You could do a Predator movie where you focus on like really strange evolution of human beings with space travel and stuff, like going on to the Predator's home planet to do their own hunt where we're the yeah. bad guys, you know, where our weapons are more advanced than theirs even or whatever. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Good thing I'm no, not in that, charge of the franchise. No, that that's a good idea because we when we look in nature, we see that there are certain predators that they're not prey to any other animal. You know, we can't assume that the predators in these movies 
countries are like the highest on the food chain or whatever to where there's nothing that can challenge them. So I think your idea would be cool. When Dan Trachtenberg originally pitched the idea of Prey, it was already planned to be a storyline that could run alongside any other project in development within the Predator world. Now that Prey has firmly placed the Predator franchise back into the cultural spotlight, it may usher in an entirely new direction all its own. Maybe Prey could be the start of a fantastic series of films, even if it should probably go down as the beginning and the end of the Predator legacy. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting take. It's also kind of fitting to know that this was developed to be something that you could watch, like regardless of what's going on with Predator, whatever anybody else is trying mm -hmm. to do with the property. Because honestly, dude, I had missed the Predator. And when this was coming out on Hulu, I was like, oh, I really want to see it, but I'm kind of behind. Not that any of them have really mattered for you to like, mm -hmm. to know the previous one, but I would kind of like to, I would have probably tried to catch up before watching it. But then I was like, oh, it's 300 years in the past. It doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm made it more accessible. And that actually might have been the saving grace of it. Anybody who had a Hulu <clears throat> subscription could tune into it because they didn't need to know anything. Well, that was the great thing about it because they're going so far into the past that if you've seen any Predator film or you e even have seen like pieces of it. Yeah, you've just heard of it. You kind of know it. Yeah, you, like you like the idea of it. You can, in a sense, <laughs> this is Predator 1, which yeah. is kind of funny. Yeah. Um, but um, I do disagree with him as far as it, it's just a, a silly notion to even put out there, like, should they end it or should they stop it here? It's like, no, they're not going to. Like, Fair. that's not how it works. So why even bring it up? Well, because you could end on a high note. And yeah, well, like he said, this could go on very far to where people are very put off by it. No, All right, no it, well, it won't. Yeah, I agree with you. But anyway, that Drew, was Drew, Drew Tinnen with Dread Central. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, suggest your favorite horror movies in the comment section below. If you want to see extended content, visit our Patreon where you can support us and we'll have extended reviews and other stuff. Just check it out. It's really cool. I promise you. Also, you can find us on Twitter. All these links are in the description below. We will see you next time. Peace out, cheesers. Peace.